Wingardium Leviosa! It's not Wingardium Leviosa. It's Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, okay. All right, 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 right. Wingardium Leviosa! Uh... Sorry? Linica's Magic Wand is finally out of beta and available for download on Nexus Mods under its new name, The Dire Wand. And like 99% of all of Linica's mods, it is incredibly overpowered. Though there is a little bit of a learning curve, so today we're going to be going over all of the spells you can cast with this tiny little monster, and then we're going to head to the dungeon to wreak some magical mayhem, the likes of which the Wizarding World has never seen before. Now, like I said, there is a little bit of a learning curve here, but Linica, being the absolute mod god that he is, saw that problem coming, and so he baked a cool little tutorial function into the wand itself. All you have to do is hold down the Alt Use button and the trigger at the same time, and you'll get this nice little menu with all of the abilities listed. All you need to do is point at one, pull the trigger, and it will show you a cool little demonstration video on how to do it. You'll also get this little ghost hand here now. This is new, I don't remember this before, but now we've got this. So you just do what the video shows you, and you'll be able to perform the spell. As you could probably tell from the tutorial wall, the wand does have two different casting modes, one purple by holding the trigger, and one gold by holding alt use. I'm gonna go over each spell for each different mode. Starting with purple. We just gotta know how to target something. We can do that by flicking our wrist and pointing at it. Now we got this barrel selected, and the first spell we're going to cast is Elasticize, which you can do by holding your hand and pulling down. Now that is a bouncy, bouncy barrel. Next we have Disarm, so we're gonna need a friendly volunteer, this nice gentleman here. We're just gonna target him, hold our hand out, and pull it back, and his sword is now my sword and he's running away like a little bitch. Grapple, and I don't think this is how the tutorial will tell you how to do it, but I've had the most success doing it this way. I start with the wand upside down and then just kind of flick my wrist, and you get this sort of stringy purple light stuff, and if you yank on the wand in any direction and let go of the trigger, it'll propel you in that direction! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. oh god. Oh, jeez. That was close. Um, I think I'm standing on a tree here. So... Okay. Yeah, this this is fine. As you can see, while you have the, uh, the grapple out, if you're in the air, you just kind of hang in the air. It's really cool. This thing is really, really fun to jump around levels with. Uh, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's cool. Disrobe. Hold your hand out, wave it side to side, and all the armor goes flying off your enemy. And you can actually pick this stuff up uh, and equip it to yourself, or you're supposed to be able to. Let me uh, let me try getting the hand. No. All right. Um, maybe that. What is this? Soldier left. So. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Okay, that worked. And uh, now I have a soldier's left pauldron. Sick. This one is called Crush, and you actually saw it a minute ago. You select a target with the wand, hold your hand out, and make a fist. That is... wildly brutal. Hello, new victim! Polymorph! Select your target, spin it to the side. He's a chicken now! I love you, chicken! Petrify! Select a target, hold your hand out, push it forward. Now that is one hard cock. And I can say that, because that's just another word for a male chicken. Duplicate, and this one only works on items. Just select an item, hold the wand upside down, give it a little spinny spin spin. Now I've got two barrels. Well, I've only got one barrel, because the other one went down the hill. But I've got this barrel, and me and this barrel, we're like, we're like this, son. Not, whoa, not, not like that. Not like that. Huh? Uh, okay, this one's called Control, and it's probably the most difficult to master, but it lets you pacify enemies. I smell poor people nearby. How dare you? How dare you? I can't believe I actually got that on the first try like that. But, uh, yeah, it looks like I accidentally disarmed him, too. So, yeah, he's pacified now, and you're supposed to also be able to, uh, make them attack other enemies. I'll see if I can get that to work. I think I just target him again, do this, and then... 
Hey! All right! Get him! Go for the head! Go for the head! And this one here is called Decapitate. Just target and switch the wand back and forth. He was such a loyal friend. Hover! Target an enemy, hold your hand like this, make a fist, and raise it into the air, and they'll be carried up there too. Turn your hand upside down and slam them into the ground! Lift! It's kind of like hover, but you don't need offhand gestures to do it, just the wand. Select a target and raise it up. Now you can get your Hogwarts legacy on. I don't think... that's not part of the spell. He's just tweaking out. Hemorrhage, a curse of pain. This one you don't have to target the NPC first. You just hold the trigger, give the wand a couple of swoopity swoops, and they'll start bleeding until they die. Like that. He's dead. Dispose of the evidence. And now, for the last purple spell, we need the use of a fireball, because we can use the wand to grab a hold of it. And it is now a grenade. You didn't even fly that high, you big sissy. Stop it. Or I'll hit you with another grenade. Okay, yeah. Now I would say his fear of heights is justified. Bit of an important note with this one. Lightning spells? and uh, gravity, they don't have any effect right now. I don't know when Linica plans to add something for them, but uh, for now, it's just fireballs. And if you try to use this with a modded spell like, uh, let's say, let's say toxic. It I don't know what just happened there, but modded spells that basically use the fireball thing, they just act like a regular fireball when you do that. Not, not like that, usually, but you get, the, you get the idea. Time for the gold spells! The first one is a lightning whip. Hold the alt use button and thrust forward with the wand. And now... Lightning whip. Shock wave, which you actually saw at the beginning of the video. You don't need to move the wand like that, by the way. Just hold the alt use button and thrust both hands forward. They'll get launched backwards, hang in the air, before plummeting to their ultimate demise. I was waiting for a splash. There was, there was no splash. Shove! By the way, if you look for this in the wands tutorial, it is colored purple right now for some reason, but it is actually a gold spell. Just twirl the wand around and point it at your target, and they'll get shoved backwards, just like that. Fireball! You just kind of flick the wand forward and it'll launch fireballs that will home in on their targets, unlike a regular fireball in the game that you have to control with your hand, so... I was worried those last ones were gonna miss, but they all- man, they just really converged on that poor bastard, didn't they? I don't really know how many people are actually aware of this, but behind this bush and these vines on Citadel is a very dark passageway. Very dark, I mean pitch black. Luckily though, the dire wand has us covered. With the light spell. We just hold it in our hand, twist it around, and we've got a little light ball! Kind of like Lumos on the end of our wand. So in we go! Ow, I hit the wall. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yep, see? Dark passageway. And here we are. In it. So dark. So grungy. So creepy, actually. Was that a rat? I heard- I hear rats. I don't- I don't want to deal with rats down here. Rats are really bad in the medieval times. See, that's a plague. I, I- I want plague. No plague for me. We don't need this anymore, so we just hold it back in our hand, twist it the other way, and the light goes away. Slow time, bubble. Did you just slap my wand out of my hand, you son of a bitch? No. I can't believe that happened. I gotta get a new wand now. All right, let's try this again. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Time slow bubble now. See that? Oh, wait. The archer is outside of the bubble. But wait. Hang on. This might work out. Shoot. Shoot the arrow. Come on. <gasps> it did! Oh, it just gets frozen in the time bubble. That is so cool. Why are you moving normally, though? You're not, you're not supposed to be moving normally. Stop moving normally. 
There we go. All right. So yeah, you hold the button, you drop the wand, you get a time slow bubble. Everything in the bubble is slowed except for you. This is so cool. I can't believe that actually got stuck like that. Here, have your arrow back. Hope you enjoy it. You're gonna need... You're gonna need it. Well, maybe not, because you're dead. <laughs> oh. Hi. Bye. I'm gonna borrow his sword because, uh... Good effort. Good effort, pal. Whoops. I was trying to stab you in the face, but that didn't... Whoa, he moved fast again. Okay. Now he's... He shall move no longer. Where's my wand? There- Oh, hey, look at that! It's doing a little swirly thing! I don't ever remember it doing this little swirly thing before. That is so cool. I'm just gonna pick that up. And the bubble goes away. And it's a little bugged, though, so maybe I drop it again? And pick it back up. Yep, there we go. Alright, so, yeah. A little buggy with that one, but I'd say it works, uh, pretty well. Okay, so the last spell is called Safeguard, and it allows you to protect yourself with the wand by just kind of swaying your arm sideways. As you can see there, it actually- OW! It actually, uh, deflects incoming attacks. And it's super handy, because if I'm being honest, it can be a little difficult to cast spells while on the move. So if you use Safeguard to deflect attacks, kind of stun the enemies a little bit, then it gives you time to wind up and start unleashing all the other attacks. I think that guy just bugged out and killed that guy. That's okay. That's fine. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Yep, that's what happened. Sorry, I got a little frantic there. It's a lot happening. A lot happening. Okay, I think that covers all the spells for the wand. Dungeon run time! Yay! Get back here. I didn't mention this. You can actually store this in your inventory too. Hold it to your chest. Let go. Pull the inventory menu back up. There's your wand. Nice. And spoing. You know, that used to make an actual sound. I don't know why it doesn't anymore. It might just be broken for me. Whatever. Here we go. Up and over. Oh, oh. <laughs> My face. Try again. Uh. There we go. I got it this time. How's it going? Ha! Oh, you don't want to do this, man. You don't want to do this. It's a bad time. You okay? You seem, uh, seem like you kind of froze on the spot. I can help you out with that. Hello. Oh, hi there. Um. <laughs> ha! Fireball! 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 How dare you! My mother was a saint! Crush the guts. Ew. Too much crushing of the guts. Think I need to go up there, so we. Oh! <laughs> my nose! This is not a good day for my nose. Huh? 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 Give me that! Mine! What? You did what in my bed? That's disgusting! How dare you! You are a wizard, Harry! Yes, I am. My name is not Harry, though. Hi, I'm gonna turn you into a chicken. Or I'm gonna make you do cartwheels. That works for me, too. That's fine. Maybe you become chicken. Maybe? Maybe chicken? Yes, now it's chicken. Chicken, I need your assistance to fight off the bad lady. What is going on with that guy? Oh, jeez. That- that doesn't look healthy. Hi-ya! 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 Yeah! Chicken attack! Chicken attack! Chicken attack! Chicken attack! Bok, bok, bok! Hello! I'm not giving that guy a packet of crisps. Slow time!
That was great. Oh, you two are still alive? How is that even possible? What? What did you just say? Ah, uh, who cares? Lightning whip! Haha! <laughs> I think... Did I just... I'm like... Whoa, oh! Ow! You son of a... Mm. You know what? Ugh. How do you like that? Watch that last step. It's a doozy. There's one more hiding around here, so... Oh, there he is. Hi there, pal. Up you go. Nighty night. Well, I think that's the end of the dungeon, everybody, and oh my god. Lord Voldywart! Avada Kedavra. This was fun. This, this was fun. Hope you all had a good time. I'm gonna get out of here. Bye-bye. What the fuck? <laughs>